Hey everyone, let's take a look at an updated way of adding Tailwind CSS to our React Native projects. This is a new version of my old video, but let's get started. We're just going to use Native Wind, just read through the docs. It takes less than two minutes, very straightforward. So um, currently I have a bare bones Expo project. Expo, it has the Expo router, but I use the reset project script to basically get the basic bare bones version. But let's get started again. Uh, look at the Native when docs, uh, we're just going to copy the first dependency we need to install. Uh, just copy paste. Basically, we're going to get native win, tailwind CSS, reanimate it, and save area context. Once that's done, we're going to have to, uh, at this point, if you don't, or if you're not using Expo project, uh, you got to run the npx pod install. But come on, if you're not using Expo at this point, what are you doing? I'm just kidding, but yeah. Um, we're going to init tailwind CSS. Um, once we do that, it's going to give us the Tailwind config file. So there we go. We have that ready. This is the main part. A lot of people sometimes uh, mess up. Basically, copy the config file, uh, paste it all in. You need to make sure your content path is correct. Right now, all our files are under the app directory, but if you had a source directory and everything's under that, you got to make sure it's relative and correct path over here. If you're not sure, comment in the comments below and we can figure that out. Save that. Let's go to the next thing. We're going to have to make build the global.css file. Not build, but write. So let's create that at the root. Global.css file. Paste all that in. Perfect. What is next? Now we have to add the Babel preset. I don't think a Babel file is in the Expo project by default. So just create that. Babel.config.js. Paste that in. Save. Perfect. Next is Metro. Um, also not in the project, but we have an npx expo command to create that. It's going to create that for us. Because it's bare bones and fresh, I can just copy paste this into Metro. Perfection. <clears throat> now we're going to have to import our global CSS file into our root file, which is our underscore layout. That should be good. Um, at this point, the only thing left is TypeScript. So we need to create a native with um, native wind env.d.ts file. Perfect. And give it a triple slash directive. Copy that. And look at that. That's all we need to do. Let's start up and pull our project in the simulator. Let's open that up. Once it's up, we can go to index file. Right now, we have a random, uh, simple view here. Let's remove all this style sheet. Put a class name. We can do um, flex one, item center, justify center, and let's do BG red 300. Save that. And there we go. Now we have Tailwind using native wind in your X project. Happy coding, guys.